This lesson is about area of a triangle and we find the formula so that we can calculate the area of a triangle. To find the area of a triangle, let's start with the area of a rectangle. Here we got this rectangle which has a width of 4 cm and a length of 6 cm. So um, we already know that to find the area of a rectangle, you just times width by the length. So 6 times 4 gives us 24. And since these are in centimeters, so the area will be in square centimeters. Uh, 24 square centimeters. Uh, now uh, we can split this uh, triangle along this red line that I've drawn uh, to become two uh, triangles. So we split these rectangles into two triangles. Um, now between these two we have the same area or space inside of the rectangle. In other words each one of these triangles will have only half of the area of the rectangle they are coming from. So um, the area of each of them will be half times area of the rectangle which is 24. Half when you timesing a number by half you uh, basically halving it. So that becomes 12 square centimeters. So each uh, triangle here has an area of 12 square centimeter. Uh, now, if you look at uh, this triangle, for example, uh, this length, this side, is the same as this, because if you remember, we said that this is coming from this triangle. So this is as good as this or this. Uh, in a um, rectangle, we call this length, but in the triangle it is base. So the base of this is the same as um, length of this. And uh, again in a triangle the um, width that we had in a, a rectangle will be called height, the height. So this height is the same as this width. So the area of this triangle is half times base times height. Remember, this base is the same as uh, uh, length, and uh, height was the same as the width. So we are basically doing the same thing, only changing the names. And algebraically, we can drop the times and show base with B, with the letter B, and H with the letter H. So that becomes area is equal to half base height. B stands for base, H stands for height. And there is times within them which we don't write them. Now let's uh, have a look at an example. Find the area of the triangle below. So we've got here a triangle um, given to us and we want to find its uh, area to that will be half times base times height that's the formula for area and base was 14 meters and height was 6 meters so the area will be half times 14 times 6 which comes to 42 square meters square meters because um, both the base and the height were given in meters um, example 2, calculate the area of a yard in the shape of a triangle as shown below. This is the yard they have given to us and we want to find its area. Here, um, the height is this dotted line. Okay, so the height um, is a line that you draw perpendicular uh, from um, any given corner to the opposite um, side and that opposite side is going to be your base so now here this is our base and this is our height 
So area is equal to half times base, which is 10, times the height, which is 6. And that comes as 30 square millimeter or 30 square millimeter. So we can write square millimeter like that. So the point here was that the um, height is not part of the triangle as, as it was before. The height is a line that we draw ourselves or they give it to us. But height is always a line which is uh, perpendicular to the base. Makes it a right angle with the base. Example 3. Find the area of the triangle below. So here we have again another triangle. Um, that is the base. But um, to find the height, um, again this is the corner which is opposite to that base from that base we got to drop a perpendicular um, to the base perpendicular means a line that makes a 90 degree angle so um, to draw from this corner perpendicular to the base you need actually to extend the base too so in other words here your height is outside your triangle here the height was inside the triangle in the previous one the height was a side of the triangle here but the height is outside the triangle so to find the area of that again half times base which is 12 and a half kilometer times the height which is two and a half kilometer when you multiply that you get uh, 15.625 square kilometers again why square kilometers because both the base and height were in kilometers thank you for your attention